Hello, and welcome to the Harlingen Consolidated Independent School District and Valley Baptist Health System Education Talk. I'm your host, Joe DeLeon. The road to healing and justice for victims of abuse and domestic violence tends to be a long and oftentimes emotionally and mentally tiring journey for the children, women, and men who lived through that kind of trauma. The good news is there is a local program helping victims along that journey, so they know they are not alone. Valley Baptist Medical Center Harlingen is home to the Child to Adult Abuse Response Team, also known as, as CART, the Comprehensive Medical Forensic Program, the only of its kind in the Rio Grande Valley, is providing around-the-clock services to victims of abuse, neglect, and sexual assault. This hospital-based abuse response team is helping as many as 100 victims a month right here in the Rio Grande Valley. And on our program today, we want to help raise awareness of abuse right here at home. Today we welcome Sonja Edelman from the nationally recognized and award-winning Valley Baptist Health System. She's a CART Team Clinical Director for Valley Baptist. Ms. Edelman is a certified sexual assault nurse examiner to provide medical forensic examinations for all ages of patients by the International Association of Forensic Nurses. She serves as a clinical coordinator of the Child Abuse Resource and Evaluation Care Team at Driscoll's Children's Hospital. Welcome, Ms. Edelman. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. This CART program is the first of its kind here in the Rio Grande Valley. It is. It is. And so, can you shed a little light on that and, and where it started? Yes. So, um, at Driscoll Children's Hospital, we already had a team like this since 1995. But in the Valley, what was the impotence for starting this team is that there were three children that were murdered um, by their mom and her boyfriend, um, and they were all under five years old. And so the physicians at Valley Baptist knew that we needed to do something different here so that we could identify the abuse before that happens to the children. And so with this program starting, what, what have you seen? Have you seen improvements in the Valley? Have you seen people coming for, for more help? Absolutely. We see um, at least um, 100 patients a month. Um, just in, And I know there are more victims than that, but we know that we're reaching out to them and the schools are helping um, to recognize that abuse and bring them to the hospital instead of them suffering at home and nobody being able to help them. For those who are oblivious to what abuse may be, what is, what is abuse? So abuse is maltreatment. That, that's kind of the big umbrella of it, is you're not treating somebody the way that they should be treated. So you're abusing them. You know, uh, you may hear that when you're talking about pets, like they, they're abused. But the same thing happens to people, to children, to teens, to adults, and to the elderly, where they may be sexually abused, um, where somebody does something to their private area or abuses them that way. They may be physically abused, so they may be beat up, and they may be stabbed or punched or strangulated, um, or they may be neglected. They may not have their medicine. They may not be able to have anything to eat. They may be starved. Um, they may not have any clothes to wear, or they may have to sleep out in the backyard and they don't have any kind of cover or safety. As a bystander and walking by and seeing somebody who might have suffered or is suffering abuse, is there a specific way to speak to an individual who's gone through abuse to help them or offer some support? So I would say the first thing is not to get too close to the patient because you're a stranger to them. But um, I start off with, is there something I can help you with? You know, it looks like you might be hungry. Um, do you need medical help? I could help get you there. Um, ask them what they need, but I, you know, I would say um, you look like you need some help. And so the fear of somebody who's going through uh, physical abuse is, you know, I, I want, I'm scared to go and come forward because I might get hurt. Right. What would you say to those individuals who are currently going through that abuse and are afraid for their life? 
So I understand that they're afraid for their life, but they um, may not have a life if they don't take a step forward and their children may also be affected. So the best thing is to either come to the hospital or to report to law enforcement um, and we can help them start on that road. And so at that point, law enforcement can be involved, but you were saying earlier that if they do not want law enforcement involved, law enforcement doesn't have to be involved if they're 17 and older, correct? That is correct. And so what other steps are there that can be taken in services that are provided at Valley Baptist? So if they're 17 and older, they can go to the Friendship of Women in Brownsville or to the Family Crisis here in Harlingen. They, um, both of them have shelters, so they would be, um, have housing for them. They'd also have therapy, and they would be able to help them go further with that, with the therapy, and then get them in a better place where they're not worried about being injured by that person. Is there a specific hotline or a website that one could visit who may be going through uh, abuse? Yes, they can go to the Valley Baptist website and we have information on it. Perfect. And is there any words of wisdom that you would like to impart on our viewers before we, we leave here today? I would say if you even think that somebody may be being abused, you need to approach them and say, is there something I can do for you? It looks like maybe somebody's done something to you that you didn't deserve. Thank you so much for speaking with us today and giving us some of your medical wisdom. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you or someone you know is a victim of abuse, you can report it to the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services at 1-800-252-5400 or visit their website at www.dfps.state.texas.us. Available 24-7 for you, our viewers, is the Valley Baptist website at www.valleybaptist.net. A wealth of information available to you, including our services, available at your Valley Baptist. A reminder, you can watch this program on KHGN's YouTube channel, and you can also view and download and share this program on Valley Baptist's Facebook page. All you have to do is just look for them on Facebook at Valley Baptist Medical Center. I'm Joe DeLeon. Thank you for watching this edition of Harlingen Consolidated Independent School District and Valley Baptist Health System Education Talk. We'll see you next time.